Uh, the National Investigation Agency or the NIA has given its consent for independent MP engineer Rashid to take his oath as the Member of Parliament on July the 5th. Now, the matter uh, now awaits a final order from a Delhi court which is expected to rule on the conditions of his oath taking. Uh, Mr. Rashid, popularly known as Engineer Rashid, he won the Baramulla seat as an independent candidate uh, in the recently concluded Lok Sabha elections. Mr. Rashid, he has been imprisoned in Tihar jail since 2019. The NIA has charged him in a terror funding case, preventing him from taking his oath alongside his peers in the 18th Lok Sabha. Now, despite his dis detention, uh, Engineer Rashid managed to secure a remarkable win, defeating the former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah by a margin of over 2 lakh votes. And uh, Nazir joins us uh, to get us more details. Uh, Nazir, the NIA, although has permitted uh, the oath taking for uh, Engineer Rashid, uh, can we expect any sense of opposition from the ruling government? Well, uh, NIA has already given its consent that Engineer Rashid can take oath on 5th of this month, Friday. And, and, and uh, tomorrow, uh, Delhi's Patiala House Court will issue an formal order. It was actually waiting whether NIA have any objections over his taking oath. Since the law provides him to his candidacy and contest elections, the same law allows him to take oath and represent his constituents in the parliament as well. Even as he's a terror accused, he has been charged, treated for taking one and two, one lakh fifty thousand per, uh, rupees from a businessman who was accused of funding terror in Kashmir. So that is allegation against him. Angela Rashid remains in Jahar Jid for the last five years, but he surprised everybody with his massive victory in recent parliament elections by being the giant killer, defeating former chief Prince Umar Abdullah by nearly 2 lakh votes and also Sajjad Lon uh, from the North Kashmir constituency. Since then, all the political parties have been demanding his release from the jail. For example, Mahabha Mufti they said that he has been booked under frivolous charges. These are baseless allegations against him and he should be immediately released. So is Alta Bukhari. He has welcomed the decision by the NIA and other parties as well. So, Anjina Sharif finally taking oath as the member of the parliament uh, from the North Kashmir, the someone who is seen as a maverick, someone who has got massive food, even remaining in the, being in the jail for the last five years. It is for the first time someone in the jail in, from Jammu and Kashmir has won election with such a landslide victory. So clearly, uh, NIA has given his consent with certain conditions. And one condition is that he cannot speak to media when he will go to parliament, take oath on 5th of this month.